Welcome back. I'll be making a quick tutorial today. A lot of people have been asking for how to run Agent Zero with Olama. First, I need to warn you, you're probably going to be disappointed with the performance, especially if you want to run something like an 8 billion parameter model. Cloud-based models usually have over a trillion parameters, so you really cannot compare the quality and not even the speed. And in this video, I will also compare Olama to models from Open Router that you can run completely for free, which are a much better fit for Agent Zero. Agent Zero is completely free and open source. It is being built for you. You can use it for whatever you want. Check our web, agent-zero.ai, where you can learn more about the project. You can find links to our socials here. You can join our community. And thank you very much for your subscription, for your likes, and for your GitHub stars. That being said, the first thing you want to do to run Agent Zero on Olama is go to olama.com, download the installer and install Olama on your machine. Then you want to go to models section on their web and find a suitable model. Today I'll be using Gemma 3 with 12B variant. It supports vision and it's, it's enough to run Agent Zero at least. So here I'm going to copy the model name including the 12b tag. And I'm going to open my terminal and type Olama pool Gemma 3 12b. Because my model is already downloaded, it was fast, you're going to have to wait a while. So now with Olama installed and the model downloaded, I can test it with Olama run Gemma 3 12b. Now it's loading the model into memory. And I can see it works in terminal. One more thing I want to check here is Olama surf. This will tell me the IP address and the port that Olama API is running on. Especially the port is important. I'm going to need it for Agent Zero. So right now I have Olama API server running on the host machine on my MacBook and Inside Docker container in Docker desktop, I have Agent Zero instance running. This is the web UI of Agent Zero, and now I'm going to connect these two together. One more thing you should check is that you are running the latest version. Currently, it's 0911. You can see the latest version on GitHub repository. So in Agent Zero settings, in Agent settings section, there are four models you can configure. Let me explain how they work so you get a better understanding how Agent Zero operates internally. The first model is the main chat model. This model controls the AI agent itself. So this is the model you are chatting with. This model should be large and have good quality output, something like GPT 4.1 or Cloud for Sonnet, ideally. Then there is the utility model, and its role is to be smaller, faster, and cheaper. This makes the whole system much faster, more responsive, and more cost efficient because all the utility tasks in background, like organizing memories and summarizing the message history, can be done with the cheaper and faster utility model. Then there is the web browser model. This controls the browser agent. You can set this to the same model as the main chat, main chat model. And lastly, there is the embedding model that converts text into vectors for memory. And you don't need to change this model. By default, it is set to hugging face sentence transformers. And this model runs locally. It is pre-built in the Docker container. So there's no reason to change this unless you have some special requirements for embeddings. So the models we want to change are these three, the chat model, utility model, and web browser model. We can set the web browser and chat model to the same model. We should set utility model to something faster, but unfortunately this can be problematic in Olama because then Olama needs to load two models into the memory at the same time. And uh, it might not fit into your GPU memory. And uh, if you set it to the same model as the chat model, you will either hurt the performance uh, in terms of speed or quality. So I'm going to start with the chat and web model. I'm going to change my provider to Olama, change the model name to Gemma 312B. And I'm going to need to provide an API based URL. By default, Olama uses localhost. 
but right now we are running in a virtual computer inside a Docker container. So localhost here means the local virtual computer inside Docker container, not my host machine, not my MacBook. So I have two options here. I can either expose my host machine on my local network so that Docker Desktop would be able to access it, or I can use a little trick that Docker Desktop allows me to do, and that is using host.docker.internal. This URL points to the host of the Docker container, which is my MacBook. So on this URL, I can connect to my Olama API, if the port is correct. I'm gonna do the same for a web browser. And for the utility model, I'm gonna try to pull Olama Gemma 3N. That should be a smaller and more efficient model. I should have something like 25 gigs of VRAM available, so hopefully it can fit two models inside. And there's one more very important thing you need to set up when running Olama, and that is the context window size. Because by default, Olama for all of its models in the terminal and via API sets the context window size to just 2000 tokens. For comparison, just the system prompt of Agent Zero is about 5000 tokens. So with this limit, we wouldn't be able to operate the framework. You can set your limit with uh, the terminal, but it's actually easier to provide the parameter in your model settings, in the additional parameters. The parameter is called numctx, and we should set it to something decent like 30,000 tokens. That should probably be enough. I'm going to lower my context length in Agent Zero to the same amount so that the chat history is automatically compressed when it's getting close to the context length. And I need to set the same parameter for all the models, utility and web browser. Okay, I believe, I believe that's it. So we can save the settings and give it a try. So my model is being copied to the memory and now my GPU should spin up and generate some output. Usually the time to first token is very bad with local models because they first need to be copied to the GPU memory. And I can see Olama is already eating up like 18 gigabytes of my VRAM. Okay, so I had to wait for about a minute, but then it's generating tokens. It might have been slowed down by the utility model, pre-processing memories. But yeah, I have a response from Agent Zero, so technically it works. Let's see in practice. As you can see, even though the text generation itself is not that slow, it takes a lot of time to get to the first token because the model needs to be loaded with the context, with the system prompt and message history, and there's a long delay. So yeah, technically it works, but I can see immediately that the model fails to get relevant information from the terminal. Maybe it will be able to fix itself, we'll see. No. It just gives me a completely irrelevant output. And if you wonder why your Olama seems to respond fast in the terminal, but slow in Agent Zero, the answer is context. Right? This is an empty conversation history with no system prompt, nothing before my message. But if I copy the system prompt of Agent Zero and the message history of Agent Zero into Olama Terminal, it will be equally slow. All this context needs to be processed by the LLM before generating the first output token. Okay, now let's compare this to some free models from OpenRouter. The top two used models are DeepSeek, Non-Reasoning, and Reasoning. I'm going to use older versions of these two models because they will probably be less used and there will be better rate limits. 
So I'm going to take the reasoning one for the main chat model and browser model and the non-reasoning one for utility. And let's try the same task again. I should still expect longer time to first token than with paid models, but it shouldn't be that dramatic. I can see the model is already doing reasoning. And now we finally get relevant information from the system. So if your reason to use Olama is price, there are much better ways to run Agent Zero. There is a lot of free models on Open Router and Grok. You get much better output and you get much better speeds. Of course, if your concern is data privacy, then you should stick to Olama, but you need the hardware for that. Okay, that's it for today. I hope it helps. Please keep in mind that size does really matter. You cannot really compare 8B to 600B or a trillion. And uh, your AI tools cannot really be reliable and helpful if you robotize them by an 8B model quantized to four bits. As always, thank you very much for your time and see you next time.